A growing debate now about whether the man charged with murdering a 92 year old woman in Queens should have ever been in the country. Um, Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCallan has a story from Kew Gardens. Federal officials say that this tragedy could have been avoided if New York wasn't a sanctuary city. I saying that the suspect should have been deported back in November when he was accused of assaulting his father. Oh my God. How could you do this to a lady that old? The family of 92-year-old Maria Fuertes is devastated that someone could be so heartless to assault and rape their elderly mother. And now federal officials saying the suspect, Reza Khan, is a Guyanese national in the country illegally. I saying they asked for Khan to be held so that he could be deported back in November after Khan was arrested, accused of stabbing his father with a broken coffee cup. I saying NYPD did not honor their request because New York is a sanctuary city. Just last week, prosecutors say Khan threw 92-year-old Maria Fuertes to the ground and sexually assaulted her. Fuertes later died. ICE now pointing the finger at New York City, saying it was a deadly choice to release a man on an active ICE detainer back onto the streets after his first arrest included assault and weapons charges, and now he faces new charges, including murder. Fuertes' family members left heartbroken. She was a good soul, a kind soul, harmless soul. Wouldn't do that to anybody. NYPD says they never received the request to hold Khan. City policy only turning over those who've been convicted of violent crimes. A spokesperson for Mayor de Blasio swinging back at federal authorities saying if Mr. Khan is convicted, the city will cooperate with federal officials in accordance with local law. It is shameful that the Trump administration is politicizing this tragedy. This debate is raging as that suspect is expected to face a judge sometime today to find out if he's been indicted by a grand jury.